This guide shows you how to get back into your Sky email using your mail client such as Windows Live Mail or Outlook or Thunderbird. It can also be helpful if you're using a tablet or a mobile phone. Now, if you're using a Kindle, you'll also need to follow this guide. Um, as of the end of 2019, Sky started to lock down support for its email systems and basically for some customers has started requesting that you generate an app specific password for your email client. So this means that your normal Sky username and password remain the same, logging into the website or webmail, but it's different if you want to log in and get your mail through a email client such as Windows Live Mail, Thunderbird or Outlook. So if you've got a tablet or a mobile phone and uh, that stopped recognizing your normal password, then probably the easiest thing to do, if you can, is to go into your app store and search for the Yahoo Mail app, download and install the Yahoo Mail app, and then sign in to the Yahoo Mail app with your Sky username and password, and that will get your emails back. Now, if you're unable to download the Yahoo Mail app or you have a Kindle, which I understand Amazon don't offer the Yahoo Mail app then like I say you'll need to follow these instructions. So first of all what we need to do is we need to go to this website which is at the top of the screen now which is https colon forward slash forward slash www.sky.com forward slash sky hyphen yahoo hyphen mail forward slash manage hyphen apps equals client equal email. So type that in, and once you type that in, press enter or return on your screen. Now, if you get this uh, box come up asking you to sign in, then sign in with your usual Sky username and password. So, so let's just sign in. And we click sign in just down the bottom there. Right, so once we've signed in, we get this message saying, we're improving your email security for Sky Yahoo Mail, accessed from email applications such as Microsoft Outlook or Apple Mail. If your usual password isn't working, we'll need to give you an app password to enter in place of your current password. So move your mouse over next and left click once. Then you need to select uh, what type of device you're using, whether it be a computer, tablet, phone, or something else. So uh, let's select what's most appropriate for yourself. So, and then it asks you, you know, what type of device you're using. Is it Windows, Apple, or something else? Uh, depending on what you select here, depends on what uh, selections you get, as you can see. So. Uh, Okay, so let's just select computer and we're going to select Windows and it says here we're about to show you your new app password for your Windows computer. This will only be available to view once and you must enter it into your email app before closing the next screen. If you close the page before completing the steps in the next screen, don't worry, but you'll have to create another password. So move your mouse over show password, okay, and then left click once, and then you'll get a password appear on the screen. Now this will be random letters and numbers, and it is case sensitive, which means if you've got any capital letters in there, you must enter them as capital letters. If you've got any small letters, then you must enter them as small letters. So, and you must make sure that this screen is open whilst you're actually entering them in. So the best thing you can do is show the password, okay, and then click on the minimize button if you're reconfiguring something on your computer or keep it open whilst you're configuring it on your tablet or phone. Okay, so I've opened up my email app now. So let's just type in my email address and password on here. So the this would be the password that um, we've just generated. So uh, let's just do that. Uh, so I'm typing in my email address and this is the password that the app has just generated for me now I couldn't show you that on screen for security reasons so I'm just going to I've written it down I'm just going to type it in so let's just do that 
Okay, and then I click continue. Now, if you've got an advanced setup on screen, then uh, click on advanced. Okay, so I've got here manual config. So let's just gonna click manual config. Because what we need to do is, is if, well, we'll try testing it, but, um, and, 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 and then clicking done. But if it doesn't allow us in, then what we need to do is we need to change a couple of settings in here. There you go, configuration could not be verified. So what we need to do is we need to change the, um, the IMAP server or POP server to imap.mail.yahoo.com, okay? And we also need to change the SMTP server to smtp.mail.yahoo.com. Okay, and this should mean, that, okay, the traffic is routing through the Yahoo servers, not through the Sky servers, but it should work. Now, if you're using POP, if your, uh, you know, your, your server says here that it's POP, dot Yahoo, uh, to pop tools sky com. then we need to change the um, a server name to pop.mail.yahoo.com. Okay, so we need to ensure also, if we're using pop, that the port for pop.mail.yahoo.com is 995, or if it's pop.tools, dot sky dot com then it's 995 if you're using imap okay the port should be 993 so that doesn't matter whether it's imap.mail.yahoo.com or imap.tools.sky.com should be 993 okay and the outgoing server should be for the port should be 465 again doesn't matter whether you're using smtp.mail.yahoo.com or smtp.tools.sky.com should be 465 like i say so if if um imap.tools.sky.com and smtp.tools.sky.com doesn't work then try imap.mail.yahoo.com and smtp.mail.yahoo.com now these settings should work on any email device um, that you've you've got uh, whether it be like I say Windows Live Mail um, whether you've got Thunderbird or Outlook or whether you're using it in your tablet or phone's email client this should be exactly the same so there you go that shows you a way of getting around the security changes that sky have recently implemented which may be blocking you from getting into your sky email using your own email client or your phone or tablet's email client hope this guide helps thanks for watching don't forget to check out my other videos in my youtube channel just google chris wait youtube and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.